What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Glad you are tuning in. This is the Robet. I know it's been a while since I've put something out, but we are going to be putting a new radiator fan into the C7 Corvette because the 2014 Corvette C7 Stingrays have a problem with the radiator fans going out and causing overheating issues. They are 500 watt and I believe uh, I have, I've got the 600 Z06 C7 uh, radiator fan. So it's an upgrade. So we're gonna put that in there and hopefully that fixes the issue. But anyway, guys, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe if you do enjoy the content on the channel. And uh, we're going to see who all shows up today. Anyway, all right. All right. So basically, to get to the radiator fan down there, uh, we're going to take off this air dam. There's four 7-millimeter bolts that are going to come out. And these two lines right here and this one right here are going to go unplugged off. Uh, there is two 10 millimeters holding the actual radiator fan unit in. Those are going to come off as well. And I believe there's two 10 millimeters uh, right where my fingers are pointing right there on that air box there. That's going to come off. Intake tube will come off as well. And then that way you just have full access to the radiator fan to get it. And you won't have to squeeze as hard with everything there. So in just a second in the video, we're going to go ahead and start uh, removing stuff. And we'll get it uh, underway. So he's working on that box right there getting that and I'm gonna continue on the air air dam right there all right so we got the bolts the four seven millimeter bolts out so the air dam comes out we're just gonna set it on the side over here and continue on with getting the plugs here let's see if I can get this one off so there's a little tab right here that little gray tab I'm gonna try to pinch it and pull up. Yep, there we go. And then same thing goes for this side. There's a little gray tab right there. Pinch it and pull up. Like that. So those are off. And then uh, the intake tube is being held by this little puppy right here. We're gonna unscrew that one. Just kind of, after you got that bolt, Loosen just work your way off of it and you can see there it is. It's coming off So do uh, for this one here. Sorry guys um, push that little red tab this way and then that should be good Like I'll show you again. That's that's connected That's not and then we should go ahead and just squeeze I think and pull out um. Okay guys, so we're having a little bit of issues getting the whole uh, intake system out So basically what we're gonna do if you see those two little bolts right here, they're torques uh, what did you say it was? T25. T25. So we're going to try getting those two off and then we can have these two pieces, I guess, come out easier. Uh, hopefully that works. And okay, so just slide it off. It's going to maneuver off. You just got to maneuver. Here's the rest of it. We're going to put it over here. Okay. All right, guys. So we have the uh, air filter out and the piece that was holding it in right there. I'm just going to blow this sucker out real quick and uh, We'll start with the uh, radiator fan. All right, so we got the two tins holding this in. I believe all that's left, just looking at this, uh, I guess that little plug right there. And mm, we'll try just pulling it out like that. There are those Christmas tree type little screw things that there's one right here, one right here, and one over there. You can kind of see it. He's kind of holding it up there. They're really tough to get out, but just do your best to get it because that's all that's holding it in is just those three. Oh boy, we got another one coming in. Anybody? Okay, guys, so here we go. Um, these are out, as you can see. So we're going to pull up and hopefully. All right, guys, so you're going to have to maneuver it around. There's a little, this piece was getting snagged down there, but uh, you can see here it is. And we'll go ahead, we'll just toss it to the side right here. And then we're gonna go ahead and put in the other one. Just, you gotta show it in there. But look, that's, that's how it looks like with uh, nothing in there. So we're gonna put this all back together and do it. All right. Compare it. All right, so it. here's the new one compared to the old one. They're basically the same size. It's just the, uh, I think the wattage is different. 500, 600, essentially. Oh, it got stuck on the little thing. That's all right. To get underneath that line, that line over there for 
Because it's got to go what on on this side of the line, right? I think, or underneath it. Like that, right? Yeah. I think. And there it goes. Then, right there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Boy, What's up, man? All right, guys. So we've already put all the connections, all the everything. You know, just it's basically everything in reverse. So now we're just gonna put the last seven millimeter bolts on the air dam, and then we'll go ahead and crank it up, and that's pretty much it. All right, guys, so we got the radiator fan going. We started it up. It looks like it's on and kicking, so it looks like it's doing its job. Shout out to the homeboys here. Hoping to get the fan installed. Got a couple people who showed up. Nick, Keen, Rod. All right, guys, we're fast forward the video because we pretty much finished the car. Everything went good. It's driving fine. Sounds fine. So the radiator fan install was good. Shout out to everyone who helped me do this uh, install. I'm hoping that I have no overheating issues at all in the future. Uh, but anyway, link will be in the description for those who also need to do this for their uh, C7 Corvette, specifically the 2014 gear model. Um, hope the video was good for y'all and I can't wait to uh, come out with something else uh, in the future as uh, like I said I'm gonna be still making the videos but anyway guys thank y'all for watching don't forget to comment like and subscribe if you do enjoy the content on the channel this is Jared aka the road vet until the next video guys peace